All right, everybody, I made it back to Padnos. Inspector Chris here, he's gonna inspect my load. Yes, sir. Sweet. So, from what I'm seeing, I'm trusting you. <laughs> we'll send the hot water heaters over to bin five along with some of this other. Yeah, I was there. Cheap pipe, and then. Oh yeah. You know where uh, that cast iron pipe is going to go all the way down to bin number seven. Yeah. So you want me to do a reway? If you could, please. All right. I'll do the I'll do the pipe first because it's in the way. Yeah, for sure. And then that next. Sweet. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you too. Right. So that is the gentleman's name is Chris. He's one of the new inspectors here. I uh, he took over for for Mr. Mike. Here to bin seven, which is cast iron. We'll get that stuff out first because it's in the way. Let's see if I can get a video backing up. I don't know how well that'll be, but. Cast iron off, cast iron pipe. Oh, I'm glad that I strapped them water heaters down instead of just letting them. Because even though I was right down the road, uh, safety reasons. And another reason I'm glad I did that it was a good decision because. There is a newfound bump in the road that I've driven that road a million times and never hit that bump. But for some reason today, I hit that bump. A little, everything just moved just a little bit. But if I didn't have that strap down, that could have been a different story. Man, it is beautiful out here today. Man, just blessed with some warm weather, I'll tell you that. Ah. See, we're talking about that sheet metal. This stuff right here. And this right here, this pipe, that's just sheet metal. That's not cast. And he's like, I trust you not to throw it in there. Of course you can. I'm not that guy. Got a great relationship with these guys here. Yeah. I tend to keep it that way. Even these new guys, you know. They're just doing their job. That's all. And I really haven't been doing too much work over the last couple of months. And these guys have like literally been here maybe a month. So they got to get to know me and I got to get to know them. It's nice when you get to meet new people. So, we're gonna 
freeway real quick. Dude, the white truck right there, he's pretty cool. <laughs> that dude hauls some weight. Like me and him are like, we do our thing. Let's put it that way. He runs a, a real clean, great operation. Same exact thing I do. We just, just haul it in. I don't know what's going on with my wipers. They just... They're off. I think I got like a... Something going on. Because they just randomly turn on. <laughs> No, but I was saying about that dude in the white truck. He's real cool. Clean operation. But, uh, like three months ago, we were chatting. And he's like, this load that I'm bringing in right now, I'm like, yeah. He's like, this is my one millionth pound after I, after I weigh out. Can you believe that? One million pounds of scrap metal. But he's been doing it for like 30 plus years. Me, I'm like three and a half years into it as a business, but I, I scrapped on the side part time when I had a full time job. But since three and a half years ago, I made the switch just to take that chance and, and go full time. What is going on on the scale? But I've been blessed over the years. I really have. I I owe all of all of this to our Lord. I really do. A lot of hard work on my part, but he gave me the road. He paved the road and I I hopped on the road with him. And uh he's been taking care of me ever since. So we're waiting on the scale to do the reway. We just dropped the cast off. And here we go, guys. Rolling off the scale. Wait for it to zero out. It's stuck on 20. Any other person right now would just roll on there and get that extra 20 pounds. I don't know why. But I'll just wait. Now we're at zero. So it's, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me see. What's up, Warren? Hey, how are you? Good, and you, sir? I'm very well. So it's 81.40 on some sheet, and I think we'll roll off of probably about 68 empty. I think. You are all set, my friend. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. All right. These guys already know what I gotta do, so I don't have to go back there and disturb them again. So the, the load that I brought in this morning was, like I said, that job was a circus. I was really, really upset with the way the, they handled it. It's just very unorganized. They knew I was coming. And I dropped off a barrel or a bin to these guys. I, I bought a bin a while back. And... Uh, dropped it off to him to make it easier because it was a bunch of short steel um, 
small teeth blocks from a chipper. Well, that's what was only supposed to go in the bin. So that didn't happen. There was probably 300 pounds of dirt, frozen chunks of dirt. And there was all kinds of other stupid little pieces in there. It was just... Oh, I gotta hit that pipe wrench. It just wasn't... It wasn't a good deal. Uh, I brought it here. We got, we got the barrel flipped over and dumped on the ground. And I was gonna go through it. And pick out the, the small pieces, but... Man... So, anyway, just dumped it and walked away from it. And I'm going to walk away from that one as well. It's just because. pieces of my copper oh, excuse me dump it in that bucket for now So I ordered a, a piece for, so I could put my, I use my, I use my phone to do these videos, it's obvious, but I got the chest mount, but when I got this chest mount, it came with a headpiece, the headband part, but uh, I had it for a whole three hours out of the package, and uh Mr. Levi got a hold of the headband part. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he did his puppy thing on it. Truck off. So he, he tore it up. But he didn't get to the chest mount because the chest mount got put up. And uh, the other part didn't. That was my bad. It was on my. It was on me. But uh, so yeah. That's why I'm just using the uh, chest piece for right now. I know a couple people asked me why I didn't have one. And that's why, guys, my puppy, he literally chewed it up. So i just been using the chest mount, like I said. I'll give you guys a different view of things. I'll get this going again. So, I'm going to get some wires off of here. I'm going the wrong way. I 
wasn't paying attention. I was staring off in the space when I was should have been paying attention, but I was watching something. Forgot my battery to my my saw. I charged the batteries last night. And I believe I did not put them in the truck this morning. No. You can just tell by looking. There's the saw with no battery. Alright. I need to get this truck cleaned out and get it straightened out. I say that all the time. Um, that's alright. I just keep getting these brass pieces off. folks that's who, that's who I was watching that truck for a second I thought it was somebody, I thought, I thought it was somebody else in people. You gotta park right next to me. It's, it's completely empty. Oh well. I just gotta be more careful now. I think they do it to get on the video, I think. Welcome to YouTube. I think I got something to cut them cords. I do have some. Ah, uh, it's the battery I didn't have, but it's the snips I do. Where's my bag? Oh, I'll check there. Technically, you're not. After it hits the ground, I forgot that I didn't have my, uh, I saw to get this cup off, but some of it broke. But, like I said, technically, once it hits the ground here, there's but I just tell them I forgot to uh I just, I'll get it if they say it, doubt it never do to me because I do what I'm supposed to
seriously, that one. I don't want to Plus, I think there was a time or two that they shanked one of my loads, one or two of my loads. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody's got to eat. Make sure there wasn't a bottom one. Disaster. Trust me. That thing would have bumped the truck and they would have said it was totaled. <laughs> that is what it is. It's happened to me in the past. It was raining out one when I might for you know, I was like a couple months into this. And, uh, stupid plastic. And, uh, the kid that was working with me threw a grill off the back of my truck. Well, the dude parked, like, right on top of me to begin with. A lot closer than they are. And it was downpouring. And, uh, I tell you what, sir. If something hits me, it's not going to be a good day. Anyway. So the story is, is he, the guy parks like literally right on top of me. And uh, we had a bunch of stuff in the trailer that day. And it was piling up behind the trailer. So the kid threw the grill off side they hit this hit the pile and uh, when it hit the pile it kind of bounced a little bit and it hit the back of his truck like nicked it like there was like it was so small of a small little nick it was like a bee sting size. Couldn't even see it really. This dude flipped out on me. I mean literally just flipped out which was understandable. I could but he didn't have to go to that extent. And uh so before I could even understand what was just going on, I mean it happened so fast. He uh Dude literally called the. He said he had a body shop on Quick Dial or whatever. And I thought, who the hell? I thought, okay. So he came back. He came back over to me. Told me it was going to cost like 500 bucks. And I told him right off the rip, I'm like, well, how did you come up with that figure? just happened right here <laughs> well, my body shop guy said that it was gonna cost 500 bucks and I want payment now I'm like well it's not gonna happen right now buddy I said there's a process that we got to go through you feel that I and he just kept calling me just being super demanding and just being real raw. I was trying to get it worked out for him through my insurance. Trying to get him taken care of because I wasn't just my insurance. I told her lady about it. And she was like, no. Don't hand him this. Don't hand him the cash. Let me deal with this. All right. That's why I paid for it, I guess. And uh, after I told the guy that he had to get in contact with my insurance agent, she was going to handle it. It's been three and a half years. Or it's been three years now or so. Ain't 
ain't heard from the guy since. Hmm. So, I don't know what that was all about. So, got this stuff all unloaded. It's gonna get properly recycled. I better hurry up and get out of here for this gentleman hurts himself and I gotta see it. Uh, so this is Elite Scrap Metal Pickup out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I thank all of you for following and tuning in. I hope all of you have a blessed and wonderful day. Let's just watch this a minute. Okay, that's one way to do it. All right, have a blessed day, y'all. Uh...